Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a cooking video and it's going to be smothered pork chops in the crock pot. So stay tuned and I'll take you through the steps of exactly what, how I make my pork chops. First of all, what you're going to need is a medium to large onion, uh, about three to four cloves of garlic, in here I have some beef stock that I froze into ice cubes, so that's going to be approximately, mm, by the time it's done, almost three quarters of a cup of beef broth. We have cream of mushroom soup right here. You can use all any of these ingredients any way you like. All right, so I'm going to be using thyme, organic bay leaves, Worcestershire, rosemary, powdered garlic, basil, non-cooking spray for the crock pot. All right, and of course the pork chops and they're behind me, but we'll get started. So I'll go ahead and dice these up. And I'm gonna relatively dice them up a good size. I'm chopping, I'm actually not even dicing. You need to just cut your onions up the way you like them. Now once you're done dicing your, your onions and your garlic up, you'll transfer this to a bowl. Next, you're going to add in your cream of mushroom of your choice. You can use uh, chicken, cream of chicken. You can use golden mushroom soup. You can add mushrooms to this as well. But this is the way I'm making this recipe today. This is just stuff that I have in my cupboard because it's one of those days where it's cold outside. Uh, winter isn't quite done here yet. And so it's going to be just a nice comfort meal, similar to kind of a stroganoff in a sense. But what we're going to do is we're also going to be serving this over rice. The chops will be served on the side with this will be turning into a, like a gravy. So this will go over the rice and the pork chop will go over rice. I'm using sirloin cut pork chops. Next we're going to go ahead and add in our ice or our beef cubes. Don't worry, they don't have to be fully thawed. The next thing we're going to be adding is Worcestershire sauce. You guys, it's the first time you're filming this like this, so I um, am not looking the most partiest, so yes. <laughs> we're going to put in some paprika. And I just judge it. Next, we're going to be putting in, even though we've already got it in there, we're going to be putting in garlic powder. I would say it's about at least a tablespoon a piece because I've got four chops that are going to be going in here. Then we'll add some onion powder. Equal parts of everything is what I do. I'm going to put some basil in there too. A couple good pinches. A little bit of thyme. Careful on the herbs, you can they can overdo it, so just a pinch of thyme. I'm going in with some organic rosemary. I got this online. I think for this whole thing it costed like probably around was it nine, maybe ten bucks at, at most. And I got a one pound bag that will last me forever. So we're using a pinch of that thyme or rosemary. We're 
going to mix these guys together. And I'll be back. I also added pepper. I don't want to forget that. Added pepper and salt to your liking. Next, I'm going to season my four pork chops. I'm going to onion powder. garlic powder and we're on a low sodium diet you guys so you're not going to see me reiterating a lot of salt but I do have spices and the mixture of um, The mixture of the cream of mushroom soup has also the flavoring and it will incorporate in there as well. Next what we're going to do is we are going to add the pork chops to the bottom of the dish here and I don't know how I'm going to get you. What I'll do is I'll insert footage once I have a free. So you guys get the idea. You're going to put the bottom Get in the bottom of your crock pot here. In the bottom of your, there we go, crock pot there. So you guys, this is what it looks like. So we're going to put it on high. gonna go on there for approximately um, I'm gonna check in four hours and see where she's at but I'm guessing about four to five hours and I just latch these down I love this little crock pot I do I love the re-drum and crock pots but anyways so we're gonna we're gonna let this thing do its thing we're not gonna bother it maybe we'll come around we'll stir it a few times um, I'll have some footage of that and I hope you give this recipe a try, but I will be back and show you how we pair this up with everything. See you, see you in about four to five. Hey guys, so we're back. So with these pork chops, I already gave Gary his. There's one that kind of broke up. But here they are, as you can see. Ooh, that's steamy hot. And what I did is I made a little cornstarch slurry. About a, a teaspoon of cornstarch and I don't know maybe a couple tablespoons of water just to make it loosey-goosey and I mixed it in here. But anyways, um, I'm gonna show you the finished product. This is so delicious. So guys, this is it. Homemade mashed potatoes and gravy. Homemade mashed potatoes with the gravy. There's the pork chops. They are very tender. Peas and carrots. All right, guys, I hope you take some time out to enjoy the recipe. I didn't reiterate um, when I was done mixing things. It's obvious though, you put the mixture of the mushroom soup and all the seasonings um, in the crock pot, of course. But this is the finished product. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Have a wonderful day. Until next video, take care. Okay guys, I forgot I was gonna do a taste test with you. So here we go, there it is. Sorry, I'm not doing a, a, a mukbang today. Where's the, where's my camera? There it is. Mmm. And this is very tender. Mm-hmm. See, it just breaks up. Very tender. All right, guys. I hope you. I hope you guys try this recipe out. Take care.